Welcome everybody, this is Drew with TheLoneWolf.com and today we're gonna to be talking about kits. Um, and it's a question that we get asked a lot, both out on the trail and in our mailboxes, and that is people asking, do I need to spend the money and buy mountain bike specific gear? Can't I just keep riding in what I already own and save myself some money? And uh, we're gonna kind of be telling you guys a little bit of our personal experience as a you know race pajama denier for so long and a guy who rode in cut off dickies and t-shirts for a number of years. Um, I've definitely got some experience in wanting to like look cool and not wear some neon bright kits out on the trail. And after making the change, um, I can definitely say that there is a reason to buy mountain bike specific gear. There's a number of brands that offer everything from like heavy duty downhill kits to super lightweight spandex cross country guy kits. And um, today we're gonna be kind of walking you through Liat's lineup um, just because they've got a very solid offering. They're a company that originally started out making one product and one product only, and that's the Liat neck brace and have over the years evolved from just offering this one product to now being able to cover riders from literally head to toe. Um, and so we're gonna kind of walk you through what it means when a brand has five or six different short or jersey options um, and what they exactly mean to you as a consumer. So we're gonna start with the lightest and work our way up in terms of gear. So uh, in Liat's lineup, this would be the 1.0. They've got a fairly easy to understand um, numerical system that takes their kits from 1.0 to 5.0. And that doesn't necessarily mean that this is the cheap kit, this is the most expensive kit. Instead, what it is is it kind of denotes um, uh, an intended purpose and application for a rider. Now, first, I would say one of the most important things, obviously, is the helmet. Um, so even if you do ride in Levi's and uh, Nike's, you're gonna need to wear a helmet. So uh, Liat, as well as many other brands, offer a wide variety of helmets. From your more affordable helmet, which is gonna be your entry level, it will pass all the same safety standards and certifications as long as it is an approved you know, mountain bike or bicycle helmet uh, from a retailer, it is gonna be safe and do the job. Some helmets offer more technology, uh, rotational force you know, mitigation systems. Uh, Liat happens to use their 360 turbines. And from there, basically the more money, the more vents, um, it, to put it pretty bluntly. Uh, so they'll be a little bit lighter, a little more ventilation. Um, you'll have some nicer features as well sometimes that might mean an adjustable uh, fitment system in the back, maybe a visor that's adjustable. Uh, but basically the more money you spend on a helmet, the more ventilation and the lighter you're gonna get. So Liat's helmets follow suit. Again, they're gonna just kind of step your way up through their trail and enduro offerings until you get up to a more like full face pedal friendly helmet like this, uh, which is not quite as burly as their full on downhill helmet. I mean, there's a significant weight difference. You can see ventilation is quite a bit different. And uh, although they're both full faces have very different applications, much like the gear and pads, which we'll touch on a little bit later. All right, so now that you've made the decision to consider moving into performance gear, what are the benefits gonna be? So. Um, we'll kind of start with the bottoms and work uh, up to the jerseys in the 1.0 kit. So Liat's 1.0 kit here, or 1.0 shorts, I should say, they come with a removable chamois. Now, if you've not ridden in a chamois short, uh, I'm a huge believer. I don't ride without them at this point and feel that they offer a huge benefit both in support and padding and protection. You get a nice little cushion there. So when you go out and ride, you're gonna be a lot more comfortable in the saddle. Uh, you won't have any accidental misplacement injuries and uh, some great ventilation here compared to like a cotton boxer or um, underwear that you might wear. Unless you're free balling it and then you're just really brave and kudos to you. Um, all right, so moving on to the outer shell short here, the 1.0, uh, it's, this is not a short to be honest that we wear, it's too short for us um, and they're really thin. Now this is great for your trail XC rider, someone who doesn't want a super baggy short, someone who probably isn't wearing a knee pad uh, because it's got a short inseam, it is gonna definitely leave you with the dreaded gaper gap, which is the gap between the short and your knee pad where the thigh is showing, big fashion no-no. So 
Um, again, this is going to be more designed for the, the, the shorter travel bike rider, cross country guy, super breathable, you know, very stretchy, lightweight. Um, it's going to allow air to flow. It doesn't weigh you down. I mean, this is going to be something that you're really going to notice if you're not riding in a cycling short already. So to go with the 1.0 short is the 1.0 Jersey. Um, again, the 1.0 line from Liet's, they're kind of like their lightweight cross country kit. Um, they've got a zippered version as well as a non zippered version. Um, and the zipper version just again, gives a little more airflow, kind of a nod to the more traditional cross country or road cycling Jersey. Um, it also has these pockets in the back. So if you don't want to ride with a pouch on, um, or a backpack, you can stuff a tube bottle, uh, you know, snacks, anything like that in the back. And this is just going to be the light, thin, breathable, pedal friendly Jersey. It's not going to offer a lot of um, protection. It's not going to be the most abrasion resistant compared to some of the heavier duty kits. But this is definitely going to be the kit if you're going out for a 30, 40 mile pedal uh, in the middle of summer that will make you feel a lot lighter. The moisture wicking material of the of the product is going to just not have you feeling so sweaty, so weighed down and hot. Um, and that's going to make you ride faster and farther and happier. And uh, that's definitely a lesson that we've learned over the years. So moving on from the 1.0, you get into the 2.0 jersey. Liat offers this 2.0 and it's essentially what they would call like a tech tee. A lot of brands will offer this product and it, it's essentially like kind of a casual cotton feeling technical t-shirt. Um, however, it has moisture wicking properties. Uh, it has some neat features like a, an integrated glasses or optic wipe. So if you've got, you know, eyewear that you're out on the trail getting sweaty with, you've got a place that will not scratch your lens and be able to kind of wipe it off, get the dust and sweat and debris out of your glasses. So you got a clean line of sight. Moving up from the 2.0 Jersey to the 3.0, um, they still have a fairly casual appearance. This is their three quarter sleeve um, and they still have a bit of a cotton like feel, still offer moisture wicking uh, material. So it's definitely going to be breathe a little bit more breathable. If you look real closely, I mean, there's some just uh, some texture and uh, ventilation cuts in these that are going to make this perform a lot better than just a standard T-shirt. Um, and again, keep you happier and drier on the trail. The 3.0 short compared to the 1.0, you might be able to tell right away. It's a little bit longer. It has this drop panel in the front, which extends the knee. So if you've got knee pads on again, it's going to cover up that, uh, that gap. It has a little bit of a sturdier seat area. Um, this is kind of a reinforced material back here. So <clears throat> long days in the saddle are not going to wear through these thin lightweight shorts and we'll give you kind of a nice long lifespan out of the product. If you look through the short, you know, up against light, you can see light through the shorts, especially here in these nice vented panels. You've got zippered pockets so you can drop a phone, um, snacks tool in there, zippered pocket in the back. So again, it just, it takes your non-riding shorts to another level. Liat does offer them in quite a few colors so you don't have to have some super bright attention grabbing kit if you don't want, which to us is really nice because we don't uh, really like being super bright and loud while we're out on the trail. Um, so moving on from the 3.0, which is kind of their all around trail to uh, aggressive trail line, we'll move up to the, the 4.0. So Liet's 4.0 kit is their gravity and enduro type uh, outfits, and they offer both a 4.0 short and pant. Um, obviously the pant is going to be much more for the, the downhiller or even cooler weather enduro riders. Um, they're going to be a, a pretty nice pant. They're not super heavy or warm. We've definitely worn these out on hot days in the bike park and, uh, on cooler days out riding our e-bikes and doing some trail work and really like these pants. We love the fact that they've got a pocket, um, that has got a zipper on it. Uh, also got a back pocket here and definitely like the pants, their shorts are going to offer just a little bit more protection, a little bit more of a durable feel and finish than the 3.0 short. And, um, you know, if you're a rider that's like regularly riding in knee pads, uh, 
probably going to want to be looking at the 4.0 just because it's going to hold up a little bit better to your type of riding and uh, the terrain that you're encountering. So the 4.0 jersey is definitely a bit more of like a race fit. Um, you know, most companies will have casual tech tee sort of stuff, and then they'll have more like these slim fitted uh, race style jerseys. Um, we kind of prefer like the, the little bit looser casual fit. Um, you know, we're not really like shirt tucker inners and, uh, you know, like race guys. So um, feel free to get a 4.0 short and a 3.0 jersey or a 3.0 short and a 4.0. I mean, you can kind of mix and match your own outfits, which is a nice thing. But we will say this, this 4.0 jersey we've spent a lot of time in and it is insanely breathable. Um, not sure if you'd be able to see through that, but you can practically see through this against the light and that means a lot of ventilation. This is a very cool jersey. Um, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything when you're out on the trail and, and have an air pass through. So that's a really nice feature, especially if you're wearing like body armor, which uh, you know we often do on our downhill bikes uh, or our dirt bikes. So having something super thin like this to cover up your armor on hot days is a definite plus. Um, so that's the 4.0 line. Again, if you're looking for something kind of more in that performance race tuned vibe, uh, the 4.0 kit is definitely worth checking out. Last up is Liat's 5.0 kit and uh, their 5.0 stuff is not necessarily means top of the line. It means it's their all weather and uh, weatherproof gear. So if you live in an area that's got cold, wet, inclement weather, the 5.0 stuff is going to really make you a lot happier. Um, it's changed our wardrobe selection quite a bit since we've gotten it. So the 5.0 jersey has a wind block treatment to the front of it. So the, the front of the sleeves, chest, all have a wind block. So um, it's a, a little bit thicker of a jersey, a little bit heavier duty. The back, however, is still kind of got these little laser cut uh, mesh, you know, ventilation treatment. So you're not trapping a bunch of heat here while you're climbing, especially if you've got a backpack on, on like kind of like colder or, or rainy days. Um, that does have these really nice Kind of protective treatments on the elbow and shoulder so you've got these little brush guards which the 4.0 jerseys also have and the theory with that is if you're going by brush or branches that want to snag and tear um, it just offers a little bit of protection likewise if you do hit the ground in a crash it offers a little bit more uh, protection to the material not necessarily to your body but it'll help prevent it from tearing or falling apart quite as easy so the 5.0 jersey goes great with the 5.0 shorts. Um, you guessed it, they are wind and waterproof. Uh, they've got fully taped seams, uh, large ventilation zippers in the back that fully open the short. Um, really heavy duty back seat panel, which is gonna resist you know, mud, abrasion, resistance uh, treatment, and kind of just keep these shorts lasting for a really long time. Um, all their shorts have you know, an elastic uh, stretch band in the back and a Velcro waist adjuster. So you can kind of cinch them up depending on if you lose or gain weight in your riding adventures, or if you wear some padded undershorts, which we sometimes do as well on our downhill bikes. Um, but uh, overall the 5.0 stuff, like I said, don't rush out and go buy 5.0 because you think it's five times better than 1.0. This is going to be really hot. Um, you probably aren't going to need this in Phoenix, but if you live in the Pacific Northwest or the Northeast, somewhere that gets cold, wet, windy, um, the 5.0 stuff is really going to be worth checking out. And uh, we wear this stuff a ton from the months of November to March up here in Bend. So, so that is Liat's clothing kit 1.0 through 5.0. And uh, hopefully that kind of gives you guys a little bit of insight into what each kit offers for each different type of rider. So again, um, since they offer such a wide range of products, we figured that would be a great reason to spec them for this video. And like their clothing options, they also have a ton of different padding options. So depending on your riding style and the type of terrain you ride, you'll also be able to pick from Liat's pretty full lineup of protection. Um, obviously, depending on what you're seeking to do out on the trail, you're, you might not need these pads, right? chances are a lot of people won't need these pads. 
However, these are gonna be a lot better suited for what you're trying to do out on the trail. Um, so essentially we'll start with what would be the equivalent of like the 1.0 um, in the pad offering. And that is Liat's Airflex lineup. So these are essentially a, a really thin, they're a malleable kind of a pad that's super breathable. They offer some really solid protection. Now this is something that we'd suggest for beginner riders up to advanced level riders that are on maybe 140 mil bikes and below. So if you're going out for you know a trail ride um, and you just wanna have a little bit of skin coverage, they offer this in both a knee and an elbow offering. Super thin, um, you know, obviously maximum ventilation, minimum protection, uh, you know, when compared to something like this. But this is probably the pad that we wear most often out of knee, Liat's knee pad offering. And uh, we also wear these quite a bit um, on our elbows as well. So definitely worth checking out the Airflex if you're not sure you really want to wear big, bulky, hot knee pads, but you do want the added safety and security of having a little bit of protection. These do a great job of absorbing impact and saving your skin without being super hot. So next up, we'll move to the 6.0 knee pad. Uh, this is our kind of like top choice for a downhill, um, aggressive e-bike, enduro riding knee pad. If we're going to be going out and riding some really chunky, um, fast, gnarly terrain, this 6.0 is definitely our pick out of the Liat lineup. It's got a hard plastic cap. Um, inside, there's definitely some, some nice soft foam that's gonna help absorb impacts as well. And on the side, you've got a lot of padding, both inside and out. So if you fall and you know hit your frame or hit a rock on the outside of your knee, you've definitely got some nice protection, uh, pretty good ventilation, nice high quality stitching, thick gripper strips. Um, this is a, a pretty burly, heavy duty pad. Um, it's definitely warmer if you're pedaling for a long time, but it offers a lot more protection. Now, if you are, you know, one of those riders that like doesn't want any skin showing, you don't want to take a chance and get stitches, bloody shins, anything like that. Uh, you know, you got to wear khakis to work Monday and blood stains coming through is a no-go. Then here you go. Liat's got you covered with a 3DF hybrid knee shin pad. Um, it's going to take a lot of uh, you know, similarities from this 6.0 pad in terms of the thicker grip strip, um, Velcro adjust pads on the back, open knee, and then you've got the calf adjustability, hard plastic cap down here. So if you slip a pedal uh, and your pedal hits, or if you live or ride in a very rocky area and you go down, you're going to have maximum protection. This is going to wrap around the shin very nicely. You still have the outside and inside knee protection and, um, this is really going to be the burly option if you definitely want to maximize protection coverage and uh, minimize any chance you have of getting hurt or needing uh, medical attention on the trail so in a quick nutshell that is uh liat's offering anyways and it mimics several brands out on the market what they've got from light duty to heavy duty um, from trail gear to protection uh, a lot of brands now are offering women specific products, which is great. Uh, we're seeing a ton more women out on the trail and riding. Um, if we have enough questions, we can work on creating a women specific video talking about kits and offerings. But Liat's done a really great job in offering several different kits, um, different colors and uh, offerings for women that are looking to get into riding and want something that's either kind of lightweight or more aggressive kind of to match their riding style as well. So thank you guys for watching. We hope this helped. Um, you know, if you want to keep riding in, in Dickies in a t-shirt, by all means, go do it and have fun. But you will definitely appreciate the performance enhancements when you start getting into some of these smart materials as they offer a lot of moisture wicking and breathability advantages. And uh, the comfort and the freedom of movement are going to be the biggest things you're going to notice as soon as you take the plunge and try to get into some of these gears. and. Uh, ride on the trail so so thank you guys for watching we'd also like to thank liat for sending us all this gear so that we could walk you through kind of lightweight to full-blown downhill and all weather gear and uh, show you some of the advantages and benefits of wearing casual clothing out on the trail thanks for watching and see you out on the trails